Hello, everybody from the University of Attitude here in Indianapolis. This is Glenn Bill, your head attitude coach. On the last day of Attitude Awareness Month, uh, boy, what a great month. And thank you so much for participating with me and having fun with me through the whole month. I hope it's boosted your attitude. Uh, I hope that you took some good notes. I hope more that you took some good action. And um, hopefully this April, this Attitude Awareness Month, will carry you through the rest of 2021 into a fantastic summer. I know it's uh, gorgeous where we are. I hope it's gorgeous where you are. And if it's not, there's no reason you can't stay positive. Uh, I thought what we'd do just on the last day is to walk through our 10 attitude boosters. If you're checking us out, thanks again so much. You're not going to, well, I'll be back live some, some way. But uh, we're going to talk to you about how to stay positive all the time. And what I tell people when you get my business card, which is literally right here, it has the 10 attitude boosters on it. And it also has uh, my book on there. You can certainly buy my book on Amazon. And so I love to just walk through the attitude boosters with you. Many of you know what they are. Many of you practice them. I'd love to know what your favorite attitude booster is. If you're uh, somewhere out there in the comments, I'd love to see where you are. Charles Coachman, so great to see you, buddy. Real estate agent out in California has a Bible live group. So Charles, uh, keep doing what you're doing, buddy. I love watching what you got going on. Uh, so we're going to go through the 10. I got eight minutes to get through it. So we're going to find out attitude booster. Number one is be nice. Here's your attitude assignment for be nice. You know what? The most important customers in the world. And sometimes the nicest person that we need to be a part uh, to be nice to is ourself. So I want you to put down attitude assignment. Number one is do something nice for myself. Maybe it's buying something that you think you should buy, investing in something, taking a walk, whatever. But you know what? I'd love to see it today to end the to end the month doing something for yourself, being nice for yourself. Number two, have a big goal. We talked about goals quite a bit uh, this month. I don't know what it is, but if you go back through your notes, I'd love you to just to solidify what is your big goal. And maybe you have a goal right now. And what I'm going to tell you to do is this, double it. Because I know that uh, goals, we don't get, we don't set goals for what they will get us, right? We set goals for what they will make of us. And the bigger the goal, the bigger the person that it takes to obtain the goal. So whatever your goal is, double it. And then think about how in the world am I going to do that? Number three is to simply believe in yourself, right? If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Are you uh, holding back? Are you sitting on something? Are you not um, investing in something like yourself? Because you know what? You're just not sure you can do it. Uh, today's the day to make and take the new idea to the new level. Uh, today's the day to believe in yourself and to try something new uh, that may just uh, change your life and hopefully the life of others. Number four, do more than you're paid for. When I think about that, I think about simply volunteering, right? I'd love for you to figure out a way to call someone up. I mean, the, if you do all 10 of these, like right now today, I promise you, you're going to feel really good around six o'clock. Um, do more than you're paid for. What if, just what if you took the time to go sign up to volunteer somewhere? We had school on wheels uh, with us. Go volunteer to tutor a kid. We had, um, who else did we have with us? Gosh darn it. Oh, um, Habitat for Humanity, ladies, why don't you go ahead and volunteer to swing a hammer? Uh, or if you have a favorite charity in your area, I think it'd be awesome if you would go ahead and do that. Attitude booster number five, have a mentor, copy him or her. I don't know if you have a mentor, but if not, I'd love you to get one. If you do, I'd love you to give them a handwritten personal note to let them know how much they've improved and increased your attitude. And... Um, you know what? A personal note means so much. People say it all the time. It's overused. I'm always like, oh, really, Glenn? Well, the bottom line is this. Not many people do it. Take the time. Find your mentor. Write them a note and appreciate them, especially here on the last day of Global Attitude Awareness Day. Number six, control your emotions. Maybe when um, maybe you've lost your temper uh, in the past 30 days during Attitude Awareness Month and maybe didn't make the proper amends or the proper apology or the proper effort 
uh, to reverse the negative uh, syndrome that you've caused in somebody's life? Did you overreact to something over this month? Did you lose your emotions? Did you make a mistake because you were out of control? Um, all I'm going to tell you is this, you know what? Today's a new day, right? And you can fix that with somebody. That's attitude booster number six. Are you feeling better already? Can you imagine if you've done all six of these things by the end of the day, how great the weekend's going to set up for you? Attitude booster number seven, grow or die. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, what have you learned new? And boy, that was a recurring term over, uh, term over all of our time together, all the attitude workouts through Attitude Awareness Month. But did you learn anything? And if you didn't, you know what today? Today might be the day that you go learn something. Maybe this weekend you uh, go axe throwing. You go learn how to drive a race car. I don't know. You go yoga, dance, whatever. But go grow and do something new. Just don't learn something new. Uh, number eight, love adversity. I don't know what's going on in your life, but my guess is you got a little adversity. And instead of looking at it as a bully, I want you to look at whatever adversity in your life is as your best friend. I want you to embrace it. I want you to dance with the adversity. And I want you to make it your friend and find out how can I make what's going bad in my life, the adversity that's coming into me right now, how can I turn that around into a positive? I promise you, if you think on it, you open your arms, you hug it, you love it, you dance with the adversity, you will find a way uh, to turn that negative into a positive. Number nine, eat right and exercise. Well, look at I know it's the weekend, right? We never want to eat right on a weekend. Uh, but maybe uh, instead of just one time, one time this weekend, don't eat what you want to eat. And what I'd love you to do is walk one mile a day today tomorrow and Sunday. Just think, and maybe you, I got people on here that are running many marathons that work out all the time. But if you are somebody who is lacking movement in your life, a simple one mile walk takes you 15 to 20 minutes, go slow. Uh, but you know what? Exercise. And if you are somebody that actually exercises all the time, here's what I want you to do. Try something new. Um, maybe it's cross-country skiing, maybe it's basketball, maybe it's weightlifting, maybe it's jump roping, maybe it's yoga. But you know what? What the hell? Try a new exercise. I think it will increase your attitude. Number 10, be a part of something bigger than you. I can tell you this. Uh, the University of Attitude is way bigger than me. It's been an honor to carry the torch for the University of Attitude over the past five or six years. It's been an honor to talk to you guys over the past 30 days. I hope it's been fun. I never want to come off preachy. All I want to do is give you ideas um, to help strengthen your heart, to help strengthen your mind and help strengthen your relationships. And um, what I'm hoping is that you join me in the quest of the University of Attitude. Please check out our Get Attitude podcast as I continue to try to help and change the world one attitude at a time. Uh, we got some unreal guests. Dr. Ezekiel Taylor just dropped. Mark Eaton just dropped. Um, and I know that if you listen to our podcast, you will get attitude and you will stay positive. Uh, I'd love you to follow us at the University of Attitude, the Attitude Movement, uh, and the Get Attitude podcast on Facebook and um, be a part of what we're doing. If you have a 501c3 charity that you would like to see us embrace, I would love to uh, find out what that is. And if there's anything I can do for you personally, all you got to do is DM me. I'd appreciate it. Uh, I want to say hello to my social media coach, Kyle Draper, uh, real estate agents. If you're in the need for uh, social media coaching and social media posting, how many of you go, damn, Glenn Bill is all over Facebook? Well, Kyle Draper and his team, the lovely Holly, they're the ones that helped me with that. And I hope you check out Kyle. Guys, it was an awesome month. Um, I hope you have a super weekend. I will be back. Don't worry. I got something planned for April on the real estate side. And we will talk to you later. Stay positive. This is Glenn Bill. I hope you had a great Attitude Awareness Month. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.